How did he, who was a pacifist really, get from E equals MC squared to the atomic bomb? How did that happen? How did, how did Roosevelt find out about all that? Because I know he had regrets about that. He did. Um, he didn't tumble to, to, to the ramifications of E equals MC squared. It had to be brought to his attention. Um, I think it was Leo Zillard who, who was the guy who got, got Einstein to write the, um, the letter to Roosevelt. But Zillard, who's this brilliant Hungarian physicist, goes out to Long Island where Einstein's sailing at this point, and um, he says the, the Germans could potentially harness uh, nuclear fission. And that was really coming into its own, own only in the, in the late 1930s. He says, but it is conceivable I think Einstein wrote this, was that, that, that something the size of a suitcase put in a, a, in a liner, a, a freighter in a harbor could level the harbor. I guess, I guess Zillard said this, and Einstein's, I forget the German quote, it's in my book, he says, I never thought of that. He didn't really under, didn't think about weaponizing what was a measurement of, of pure nature to him. Yeah. But he was a quick learner, and once, once Zillard said, well, you know, this could happen, and you got out of Germany in 33, you know what these guys are capable of. And at this point, he writes a letter to Roosevelt, and, and that probably did help um, focus the, the Roosevelt's administration on starting the Manhattan Project, coming up with the development of the A-bomb. Having written that letter, though, Einstein was a, a person who was suspected because of his far-flung liberal interests, he never was allowed to work. He did some calculations for the Naval Office, but they didn't invite him down to Los Alamos to, to, to work on the A-bomb. They didn't trust him. Herbert Hoover had a file on him as a very dangerous character, simply because, you know, he marched to his own drummer, and he, he was a pacifist, and he did believe in, in a world peace organization.